When was the last time you lubricated the door lock on your Aston Martin? In this episode of Aston1936.com, I want to show you how to lubricate the door lock. Now, how often have you ever lubricated the door locks in your Aston Martin? When you think about it, it's externally exposed on the outside of the car. It gets dust, water, uh, corrosion, all that's going on, but because it's hidden behind here, we never really look at it. Plus, if you're like me, you've never used the key to open your car door except when the battery's dead. So I think this should be part of probably at least a, every two year, if not maybe a four year service regime. It's pretty easy to do and hardly takes any effort. So let me show you how. Parts and tools wise, we only need a couple of things. We need a um, can of three in one lock dry lube. Uh, so there'll be a link in the uh, uh, companion article, of course, to explain this. Uh, we're not going to use regular spray oil or something else. This is actually a dry lubricant designed for use with locks. Um, so I've got a little can of that. Uh, this is a 2.5 ounce can. Uh, we're going to use, uh, need a, a shop rag um, and we're going to need the car key. So uh, other than that, let's get over to the car and uh, show you how to use them. To do this, we're just going to basically start by, I want to try it out with my key. Uh, and see what the lock feels like beforehand. And it may feel a little grunchy if you haven't actually used your key in a long time. My car is 16 years old now, um, and I probably had used the key twice. So give it a try to see what it's like at first. So then let's get our lock lube and just give the can a good shake. It has a little spray nozzle. And fit that. All right, so my first step is actually I want to coat the tip of the key itself with some of this and run it in. I can push it in and out a couple of times. Essentially, the key is delivering the lock lube right onto the, you know, the ends of the actual pins uh, the, and gets a little bit of lubricant in that way. The next thing I want to do is I want to take this and insert it into the lock until it gets to the back. And then I'm going to up angle it a bit and I'm going to push the trigger and pull it back about a centimeter or so. I don't want to drench the interior with uh, uh, the lubricant, but I want to give it a good spritz. And then after I've done that, I want to put the key back in. Oh yeah, now I can feel it turns a lot easier. Take it back out and that's about it. Um, I'm going to clean my key off because it's got a little bit of the dry lube. So they call this dry lubricant because essentially it, it sprays on, makes contact with the parts and then it sort of sits on them. But it's, it's not like, um, you know, a, a WD-40 where it would just run down get all inside the door. This actually gets in um, and applies itself to the bits that uh, need to continue to move. So the next thing I'd want to do is I'm going to actually lubricate the latch mechanism. So the door latch mechanism itself consists of the latch that's on the door and the strike plate uh, that it latches onto here in the door frame. So what, there's nothing really to lubricate here. What we want to do is get a little bit of lubricant into the the clasping mechanism that's here in the door. Now there isn't any magic spot um, other than I'm going to do a little spritz. And that's it. So I basically just kind of sprayed it into the joints where I could see a little bit of access and uh, tidied up afterwards. Um, and if we close the door, and use the mechanism. Uh, that should work it a little bit, so you might want to do that two or three times. Well, that wasn't hard at all. Uh, so we've lubricated the lock cylinder, we've lubricated the door latch. You just need to go and do the other side of the car the exact same way. Um, and now your car is good to go for you know at least probably two years, if not longer. 
So if you like videos like this, um, please go ahead and subscribe. Um, you'll also find a companion blog article uh, down here that links over to where you can probably get the lubricant um, online. Up here, I'll have my uh, most recent video. And as always, I love to hear your comments. Please leave those down below. Thanks for watching.